What's up, man? I know it's been a while. I'm trying to make them dollar bills. Hey, I've been keeping, uh, I've been keeping something from you guys. I've, uh, I've been in a relationship. And, uh, it's working out really well. She's been completely faithful to me. I want to introduce y'all to my latest. This is the most faithful one I've ever I've ever been with. It's a lot of fun too. We have the same interests. We both like uh, we both like riding. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. It's uh, everybody. Everybody still has that urge, you know, whether they say they do or they don't, maybe they were born without the urge to procreate or the urge to be with women, you know, lucky them. But for the rest of us out here, we still have that urge and uh, we still have to fight it on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis. Or we got to go back out and get burned again. And then come crawling back. But that's a good thing. It's a good thing about MGTOW. Is you can always come back. You might, you might feel embarrassed. You might feel stupid. But you can always come back. Because uh, that's what men do. We allow others to go have their own freedom and make their own mistakes and do their own thing and then come back and we forgive and we forget water under the bridge it's gone women like to hold those grudges and uh man i, I was thinking about uh I was thinking about something the other morning that, uh, you know how, uh, the child support system doesn't really help support the child and it doesn't help, it doesn't incentivize men to make more money because the more money that you make the more she's going to take. And there's no way of guaranteeing that this money is going to go to your child. There's no way of guaranteeing that. So you know that woman is going to get X amount of whatever you're having to pay. So if you make more money, they take more out for, for child support or alimony. The more you make, the more you're punished. Wouldn't you think it would be better to reward people for making more money? Like here, here's your incentive to make more money and to provide better, have a better, have a better life for your children because you have more money but because the system is completely flawed it's easier to stay in poverty and then have nothing and say I can't pay anything well you're a deadbeat you're a deadbeat dad <laughs> yeah I don't care the thing is that I will I'll give anything for my son. But I'm not giving anything for her. It's like Coach Greg Adams talking about, yeah, he he was a little bit spiteful about it and he was going to fight it at at any any turn he was going to fight it. And that's how I feel. I give anything for my son, but I, I don't, I don't want to give a red, dull, crusty scent 
to that BH if I have to. I'd rather put that, I would rather, I'd rather take some bills and light them on fire than to give them to that person. But Daniel, you're, you're being an asshole. You're being an asshole about it. Maybe I am. But it's my money. And I don't think I should have to give it to someone who isn't even a part of my life anymore. That's completely, you know what I mean? It's completely <laughs> effing crazy. I mean, who's going to pay for someone who has nothing to do with their life anymore? Other than you had a child together. And you have to act, you have to make contact with them to get get a... A chance to see your child. That's stupid. Well, I know the system's not going to change. They're just still going to be. They're still going to be keeping you. I mean, either you make a, either you make a lot of money and you pay a lot of money, or you make nothing and you don't pay anything. It's not a good system, in my opinion. I think even feminists would agree with that. It's, the system's messed up. If, if everyone thinks that the system's messed up, how is it not possible to change it? Maybe so. But yeah, she's been good to me. It's my little British beauty right here. And she's a, she's a monster. It's a real man's bike. You can't go, uh, you can't go, uh, you can't go halfway in with it. You gotta go all in. If you don't, it'll burn you. It's got a torque of a tractor. <laughs> and it's, uh, the turn in's pretty crazy. The Brembo brakes are nuts. I put it on an advanced level, advanced level bike. And I, I got this bike after coming off of a 2006 CBR 1000 RR. And um, I, I described that as the hand of God pushing you down the highway when you twist the throttle in fourth, fifth, and sixth gear. I mean, it was like unusable, stupid amounts of power. But you can actually use this every day. You can use it. And it's got so much torque down low. You know, like from 2,000 RPM, just twist the throttle. Whoa. I mean, I can't complain. I've enjoyed it. Now, if uh, this fall weather would hurry up and get here... I could uh, probably enjoy it a little bit more because, um, you know, between the sweltering heat in the mid middle of the day and uh, the <laughs> biblical level of bugs that you uh, have to screen through down close to the lake at night, I mean, uh, those two monster headlights really... <laughs> really draw in the bugs and uh i need some of those peel offs you know but uh yeah man it uh it makes me feel kind of bad about uh you know albuquerque bandit zangotti you know uh if we live closer together, I'd say we'd probably be friends. Um, I've been commenting on his things, on his videos, you know, uh, chatting with him. He's a cool dude. And I, I know what he's going through. I know exactly what he's going through. And it's a shit place to be in. 
So y'all give him some love. Don't don't be hating on him because he, he's going through he's going through a phase. A lot of us are going through. You know whether you you don't want to go back to the plantation. You don't want to be back in that shit position but you also don't want to be where you're at right now and if you're unhappy with how your life is going you're you're miserable you're lonely it's hard not to just think like okay i was miserable there but it was a different kind of miserable it's like trading one miserable for another miserable so i mean what do you do i don't have the answers i haven't gone back I've tested the waters a couple times, but I haven't gone back. And, uh, it's just, that's just the reality of things. So, you know, y'all show, uh, y'all show, y'all show, uh, Zangati some love, you know? Let him know you're, you're there. You know, let us, us as men, um, support all of us. Let's support each other, you know? We can't, we can't tear each other down. We gotta support each other, you know, uh, have each other's backs through the thick and thin. That's what men do. Women won't have your back through the hard times. They won't have your back when the chips are down. That's where, that's where men come in. That's where real, real men come in. Not, not beta men, not, not these soy, soy boys. They, they'll turn a coat on you in a heartbeat. I'm talking about real men with uh, real hearts. We always got your back. Y'all take it easy. I might make one a little later. Y'all stick around. Later.